guys, here we are in the third video of lesson one, and this video should be a little bit shorter. Sorry about those long videos. I do try to keep them short for you. Um, so here we have a number 4,332,741. And you see that we have two numbers that are underlined and two numbers that are circled, right? So we're going to first to start by talking about the two that are underlined. Yes. And this is 300,000 and this is 30,000. Okay. So if you're still working on reading multi-digit numbers, remember that inside of each section, you're going to read it just like 110 and ones. So 332,740. One. Okay, so let's talk about these two numbers that are adjacent or next to each other, right? 300,000, 300,000, right? If we divide by 10, oh, doesn't want to do that. If we divide by 10, I don't know why it doesn't want to give me dots there. Okay, so dividing by 10, it's going to give me 30,000. And 30,000 multiplying by 10 is going to give me 300,000, right? So 300,000 is 10 times as much as 30,000. 30,000 is 10 times as small as 300,000. Is it correct to say, let me get a different color here. Is it correct to say that 30,000, right? 30,000 or 310,000. Is it correct to say that 30,000 is 10 times as much as 2,000, right? Can I go from here to here and multiply by 10? Is that possible to do that? We had a question about that in the last video, right? What do you think? No, it is not possible. Do not do that. Why? Because this is 2,000, right? I'm sorry, 200. 200 times 10 would be... 2,000, not well, 20,000. Sorry. Sorry. This is 2,000. 2,000. There we go. It's in the thousands place, Kuma Wolfgang. 2,000 times 10 is 20,000, not 30,000, right? We're, we're just multiplying it by 10. We're not going to get that extra 10,000 on it, right? We can only change the number of zeros not the number in the front. Okay. So be very careful about that. Okay. And then you see that we have two fours and they are far from each other, right? They are not right next to each other, but they are both fours. So let's get a different color and we could say four, 40, right? 40, because it's in the tens place. 40 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. How many jumps was that? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so 40 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five zeros. That's 10 times 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. 10,000 times 10 is 100,000. 100,000 times 10 is 1 million. You see our 1 million there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Whoops. Did I mess up? 100,000. Should be 100,000. Do I have an eraser? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh. I thought I had an eraser. Doesn't want to erase for us. Okay, so let's try that again. 40, 10, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five zeros. 
10, 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000, times 10 is 10,000, times 10 is 100,000. Okay, so 40 times 100,000 is going to equal 4 million. Yeah, 4 and 6 zeros. All right. Now be careful because sometimes people will say 10 times 10, 20, right? We're not counting by tens. We're saying 10 times 10. So 10 times 10 is 100. Okay, a few things to be careful with that. Just remembering, let me see if I can just clear the whole page. There we go. Just remembering that your digits have to be next to each other or you're going to count by jumps how many tens they are apart from each other. Okay, and now I want you to go to your problem set in your learn book. So you're going to go to page nine. Okay, and it has the little gear at the top, number one on page nine. And we're just going to get started on number one and number two together so that you get off to the right foot and you understand how to do your work. Okay, so let me see. I think I have to hide my tools. And there we go. You're getting your problem set out, page nine, and it looks just like this. And you're going to do it with me so that you have it written in your book. Make sense? I'm doing help with you, right? Three ten thousandths, here's our three ten thousandths, is ten times as much as blank. Okay? Three ten thousandths is ten times as much as three thousands, right? Three thousands. Okay. You see my three ten thousands is three thousands times 10. So 30,000, that's my three ten thousands is 10 times three thousand. Okay. So these two answers are related to each other. We're just writing it one time in unit form and the next time in standard number form. Okay. All right. If you're still writing that down, go ahead and pause me because I'm going to go on to number two. Okay. Blank is 10 times as much as blank. Okay. So what numbers do we have here? Let's count our dots five in a row, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is nine million and we can write it in unit form which just means the number and the word nine million is ten times as much as and there we also have nine dots nine hundred thousand nine hundred thousand okay and you're writing this out in your book right along with me if you don't you're gonna have to go back and rewatch the video and then we're gonna write it in standard number form okay we have it in unit form which is the number and the words now we're gonna write nine million nine comma and then six zeros equals ten times nine hundred thousand. All right. Excellent job. Don't forget, if you need help with anything, please come and see me and ask for help. All right. You can also ask your classmates if there's somebody who's working ahead of you. Make sure you understand what you're doing. Okay. Awesome job. Awesome job. And your next step will be to do your must-dos, and then go on to your mastery check. Fabulous work. Thank you so much. Aloha.